Welcome to the Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware, and this is Stephen Taylor. Now, Stephen, uh, we had a call uh, a couple weeks ago where a boiler actually went out on a job site, and it wasn't our boiler, but we were re-renting, and uh, the, the, the water was pouring out of it. And was it leaking, or where was it coming from? No, they, were, they had a couple problems. One, they, they had said they had cured it, the refractory, before it went out, but uh -huh. obviously they didn't because when they were fired it up, they had water running out of it. And that's, it's real common you put a new door in, it's full of water, you gotta figure out how to get the water out of it. We have customers and, and we have technicians that I've talked with over the years that they start to boil up, the water's pouring out of the back end of it. Steven, I got a tube leak, it, it's, it's awful. Run it. Go ahead and run it, give it two days. If you still got a stream of water coming out of it in two days, yeah, you got a tube leak. Right. But normally 10 hours, 12 hours, 16 hours, the water will stop, it'll drip, and then it, it'll finally quit. Right. What happened on this one, made it even worse, is it wasn't cured, so they brought it up too fast. Mm. We were told the door's cured, cured, no water in it, you can go ahead and bring it up like you normally would. Warm it up, so you get steam pressure on it, go ahead and start bringing it up. It wasn't cured, so what happened, all that moisture back in there can't go anywhere. It water turns the steam when it heats up. Mm -hmm. It did and expanded, separated the the uh, refractory from the rear door from the metal in the back of the door and and burnt the, burnt the metal up. Got yeah, six hundred degree blew metal out in the back door. Blew out all the refractory. Yeah, and and you know there's a whole bunch of things to do with that. One, <clears throat> people like to make the door slick, like you do your concrete. They want it slick. You don't want the door to be slick because that flat sealed surface seals the, ref the refractory water can't get out. That water's yeah. gotta go somewhere. Right. It needs to come out. You need to bring it up slow. It's gonna take two days to cure that door. You just have to do it. And then invariably, not just with a new boiler, all the new boilers are the same way, but when somebody takes a boiler down, refractory's bad, put new refractory in the rear door, bring it back online, and they just assume, well, flip the switch and bring it up like I normally would can't do that. So we, they, they want to get back online and, and they're going to blow the refractor out so of it. So even a, even a patch, you should do some curing? Or yes, even a patch. Right. Anything that's new material, and not just here, in, in the rear, rear of the boiler, in, in right. that turnaround, uh, around the burner, all that stuff has to be cured. you got to get the water out of it. Right. Uh, the other thing that, that people like to do is, you know, they want that door to look pretty. So we have a, a stuff called seal coat. So they seal that off. Mm -hmm. Don't put that seal coat on there until the first time you do your turnaround. First time, you know, it's been running for a year and you open it up and you want to seal, put a seal coat on it. Okay, then you're fine, put a seal coat on it, leave right. it alone. Right, What is that seal coat actually doing? <clears throat> it helps the refractory reflect that heat instead of absorbing it. Okay. So it just protects the surface okay. of that. Of that. Just the this, okay. After, after a, a period of time, this will start to turn to a little bit of a powder because of that 2,500 degree fire slamming into it all, all day long. Sure. It's really not fire back there, but it's close enough. Yeah. It, it'd be fire if he was in there. But it, it will deteriorate over time, and that seal coat protects that, helps reflect that heat, protects that, keeps, makes the door last longer. Okay, so, so you said something about curing two days. What does that look like? Is that just a low fire? Is no, that it's, just... it's a five minutes on, 15 minutes off. That for six hours. 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off. Another eight hours, 10 hours, you know, 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. You gotta have that cool down time to give that moisture time to evaporate out of there. Mm -hmm. If you don't give it a place to go, it's gonna find a place. And what I've seen them do it, pour it, uh, customer open it up, and there's a place this big around, this thick, that's laying out on the floor. Mm -hmm. It just, you built steam behind it, and it went boof, and when it did, it, it just blows. You're not gonna stop that steam, it's going somewhere. That water, right. when it turns to steam, it's going somewhere. Right. And, right. and they just, they'll blow it out the floor. Awesome. Another thing that, that, that <laughs> you know, this is a, a prime example, you can see a few hairline cracks in here. Right. Don't worry about them, leave them alone. If you try to V that out and, and fix that, all that's gonna do when that door, door heats up, it's gonna swell. Mm -hmm. When it swells up, it's gonna kick that patch right back out on top of it. Right. Leave it alone. When it cures, when it heats up, it's gonna seal that crack completely off. You won't even know it's there. Well, leave it alone. Since you've brought up, you know, the cracks in the boiler, I mean, when do you actually work on that crack? It has to be, you know, three sixteenths to a quarter of an inch wide. Okay. And and when you see this discoloration in the, the metal on the back door, you know your heat's going all the way through it, it's time to do something with it. Okay. But it, it, it needs to get pretty bad because it, it that refractory will swell up a ton mm -hmm. and, and, and it seals itself off, you don't have to worry about it. Right, right. Well, good. Awesome info. Any tricks to 
dry anything? Yeah, out? Yeah, we, we've done it in the past where you had to heat one up quicker than you wanted to. Mm -hmm. We've taken welding rods and, and at a 45 degree angle, just stick the welding rod in there every eight or 10 inches around through there. Mm -hmm. It'll let that, give that moisture someplace to go. Mm. It's not enough to, to hurt anything. It, it'll, it just gives the moisture someplace to go so you can, you can cure it out quicker. Huh, all right. You're taking the welding rods out. Yes, you just stick them in there and pull them back out. <laughs> like making Swiss cheese out of it. Yeah, right, got it. All right, well, great information, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Stephen hanging out with us and talking about that back door. That is something that is so very important to make sure you cure that refractory out. Awesome to see everybody at ASHRAE. Really had a great time. Uh, got to walk the show, got to see a lot of our partners, got to give away t-shirts. Obviously, we do candy and everything else. It's just a super show. Here's the deal, though. You know, want another shirt? You can come to Boiler 2024, May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in Denver. Get signed up for that. We hope to see you there. Um, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And uh, as always, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share those videos for us. It's uh, greatly appreciated. We'll see you later.